Good morning, Wolf Trap students and staff. Welcome to the WTRP Morning News Show. My name is Eva Omer. We are the new anchors for quarter three. Good morning, everyone. My name is Amaya Ramalua. Thank you for starting your morning with us. Today, February 9th, 2020. Please pause for the moment of silence. Um, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Over the weekend, we had some birthdays. Birthday to Ella Clark, Isaac Burton, Austin Slick, Yusuf Niazi, Arthur Sherbaugh, Heidi Ridsby, Mrs. Beans, and Mr. Painter. Then we'll track birthdays today. Today we will be learning about Jesse Owens, an African American who overcame adversity when he ran as an American track and field athlete in the 1936 Olympics. Let's watch this video to learn more. It's time to have fun with learning. And today I'm talking about a world-class Olympic athlete named Jesse Owens. Okay, so starting off in the world of sports, many athletes dream of making it to the Olympics. The Olympics is an event that happens every four years, and athletes from around the world represent their country in competition. Now, watching sports here in the United States, many of our primetime sports like football, baseball, and basketball have huge trophies if the team wins the championship. This is kind of like what happens at the Olympics, except for at the Olympics, it's all about the medals. At the Olympics, for being the best, you can earn one of three medals, the bronze medal, the silver medal, or the gold medal. The bronze medal is for winning third best, the silver medal is for winning second best, and the gold medal is for winning first place, which is the best. When it came to Jesse Owens, of course, like I mentioned at the beginning, he was an Olympic athlete. But there was a time in his life that many thought he wouldn't make it as an athlete. For example, Jesse Owens was born on September 12, 1913, in Oakville, Alabama. Growing up as a kid, Jesse Owens was very skinny and was often sick. This didn't stop Jesse because he had to help his family. In order to help his family, Jesse would also carry loads of cotton that were 100 pounds each day to get food on the table for his family. Later on in life, when Jesse went to high school, he began running track and field, and the people that saw him knew he was really fast. As a matter of fact, he was so fast, he earned the nickname, the Buckeye Bullet. In college, Jesse ran in what was called the Big Ten for track and field, and won many awards there. Now, not everyone around Jesse was happy with him going to the Olympics. A lot of people were upset because he was going to a place like Germany to compete in the Olympics on German soil. Even though people didn't want Jesse to go to the Olympics in 1936, that didn't stop him. And like I mentioned before, gold medals were his goal. And he didn't win just one, two, or three, but he won four gold medals. He also set a world record for the long jump that stood for 25 years. Jesse Owens went down in history as an Olympic great, not only winning gold medals, but standing up for equality and showing the world that the color of your skin does not matter, but working hard and chasing your dreams does. In all, the United States won 11 gold medals, six of them by black athletes at the 1936 Olympics, and that brought pride back to many Americans who could share in the joy that these athletes had. Jesse Owens died on March 31st, 1980, and although he is gone, the Buckeye Bullet will be remembered by many for standing strong and being fast. Wow. Jesse Owens was hailed in Germany and the U.S., not only for his feats, but his grace and his sportsmanship. The library website to see the Black History Month Digital Library, where you can look at ebooks and print books and celebrate the people that we look up to today. Guess what? Our annual talent show will go on this year, virtually. While we'd love to be in person, the virtual setting allows us to show 
of a bigger range of talents than ever. Good at shooting food, have a great golf swing, do science experiments, dance, sing, pole vault, play an instrument, anything school appropriate is possible. And if you need to sign up, just go to the Wolf Chat PTA website under events, talent show and click upload your video to the talent show or you can ask your parents to help. Each video should be between 30 seconds to 1 minute and 30 seconds. All acts should be school appropriate. Teachers are welcome to join the fun and submit a video of their talent as well. If you are a sixth grader you can not only participate in the talent show but you also have the option to, to join the sixth grade showcase. The showcase is a special act that features the sixth grade and an additional group performance. If you are interested in participating in the sixth grade showcase, please visit the Talent Show website and scroll down to sixth grade. For details on how to enter your 10 second video clip or photo to this year's show. For the Talent Show and sixth grade showcase are due on Monday, February 15th. Have fun sharing your talents. To end our show, let's talk about the weather. Today will be partly sunny with a high of 48 and a low of 27. Thanks for joining us today on the WTRP News Show. Have a tricky, true, talented, trustful Tuesday.